When we go through certain things in life, sometimes uh, good things, sometimes bad things, we tend to have uh, a bit of a change of perspective. So you might have something really, really good happen to you that makes you happy and think, wow, this situation is what made me happy. I have to make sure that this remains. If this situation changes, I won't be happy anymore. Or you might actually encounter the reverse, the opposite. You might encounter a situation that's so bad, so horrible, that all you can think is, oh, I can't be happy because of this situation. Now, in both cases, you are right, you're not wrong. But the, the thinking that this is just the way it is and that once the situation changes, you're going to change <laughs> is completely false. Because <laughs> I've been in really good situations and I've been in really bad situations. Uh, some of them lasting for a week, some of them lasting for a month, some lasting for a year. And I can tell you that when you have something good happen, a good situation, and the good situation gets taken away, what causes the, the most of the suffering is actually you. It's actually the thinking of, oh, now I can't be happy. Now I'm in a, I'm in a problem. It's too much. I can't take it. I, it's, it, I, don't, I want more. Why did this happen? And just getting that victim mentality that's what makes you suffer and you may even have a very unrealistic i kind of an unrealistic uh memory of how it was just like how when you and uh maybe your girlfriend or your boyfriend after a really really good relationship if you guys broke up you might think like oh it was so special it was so amazing and now you're stuck with that thinking and you're not gonna <laughs> gonna feel good even though let's say I, I got you the relationship back like you say you want you maybe feel happy for like a day or two but that's it <laughs> and then you realize oh like that's that's it like that's what I was so amazed by and you know I would I would always enjoy it I would always enjoy having like these rebound with ex-girlfriends meeting them, you know, sleeping together, together again. But I always did it like, you know, I always, it was like the best sex I've ever had, but I always knew that it's gonna be like one, two, three times, and then I'm gonna be, you know, the, the, the fascination is gonna be over. So, and then it's just gonna go back to normal. So, so I never took it seriously, because I always knew that it's fleeting. Now, recently through a lot of bad experiences I went through, I actually discovered that the opposite is exactly the same where I've had many many things happen to me that were, were really bad to be honest and I was in daily states of anxiety I would wake up with anxiety I uh, would uh, you know spend my days with anxiety I would go to sleep with anxiety I would get anxi anxiety when the phone rings so it was just really really bad it was just really bad all around. But the, the, the illusion, the wrong perspective that I got is thinking, oh, it's, you know, once that situation is finally over, I'll be happy. I won't feel bad again. I'll, I'll I, I can breathe. And you know what? Funny thing, <laughs> the situation is pretty much over. I'm still a, a, a nervous guy. <laughs> I'm still twitchy and nervous and, and feel, you know, anxiety on a day-to-day -day basis. Of course, not, not as much as I used to feel, but it's not, but again, it's still there. So what that goes to show, what that teaches you is that wherever you go, there, there you are. Like, just because the situation changed doesn't mean that you've changed. But say hello to a nice Porsche, nice Porsche. Yes, I'm in the richest part in uh, Israel right now. Uh, it's called the Diamond District. Big, big buildings and, um, and um, 
lots of um, money being being made. Not my kind of thing. I mean, not the money, but uh, the, kind of the style. But anyway, that's uh, that's just the way it is. It's um, it's it's a it's a falsity. And then that got me thinking, like, how much of my life was I spending with this anxiety like could it be that it was actually like this for a while like you know for maybe a couple of years by now and that you know I just maybe manifested a more extreme version of it and I find out that yes that's actually the answer like I'm, I'm naturally kind of a, a ner- an anxious guy and that new life situation um you know maybe maybe it kind of um made it come out more but it didn't it didn't mean that when the situation was over the anxiety stops which is uh something that was amazing for me (laughs) because you know you you finally get that girl that you missed for so long or get you know the business finally picks up and you make a lot of money and you're like You know, you enjoy it. It's amazing for a couple of days, a couple of weeks. But then you're like, oh, you know, I just feel the same. Or maybe, again, you go through something horrible and you're like, oh, I can't be happy with this. I'll I'll never be the same. Until this is over, I can't enjoy my life. And then it's over. And, you you know, you feel relieved for a couple of days. But then you're just back to normal. (laughs) And you find out that normal wasn't even that different. So wherever you are right now in life, you know, the, I don't even know what kind of message to give you. Just calm the fuck down. <laughs> like, if you, again, if you're in a bad situation, it's okay. It's not that different from being in an amazing situation. If you're in an amazing situation, it's okay. It's not that different from being in a shit situation. Um, but what you really want to focus on is improving yourself slowly. So year by year you can become a bit more happy a bit more calm a bit more happy a bit more calm and just kind of grow that shit you know just a bit every year and that's when your baseline goes up so the more your baseline goes up you know life isn't naturally going to be like up and down but the more your baseline goes up the more you're going to feel good uh in a way that you can actually see the difference so don't take the ups and downs all that seriously because you know they come they go And uh, I guess that's the message for the video. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions.